Hello, this is Wayne from GSG coming to you loud and proud from Houston, Texas. At the end of my Crash Landed series uh, finale, I was doing a little bit of off camera research before we moved on to Breakdown Level 2. And I happened to have two Cleo missions spawn during this process, so. I decided to go ahead and record them and include them as some bonus footage. Uh, this will be Reese's first Cleo mission that he's ever done. I've done a few with uh, several other people. But this is breakdown level one. And I almost got out of the vehicle a little too quick. So we got us a feral and a juggernaut and this is the cheap way to do this at level one just distract them away from the Cleo beacon now realistically I probably could have just ran over everything there but the juggernaut and finished this mission fairly quickly um, just Running over things with the vehicle at higher levels really becomes not an option. So I'm just trying to perfect that how to do this for the higher levels. So we got the cheese kill on the feral. Now we're going to try the baby doll. Tracked away a few more so I can kill this juggernaut. Fat boy down. Maybe later. Yeah, we just gotta mop up some of these stragglers and uh, get in here and turn this Cleo beacon off. And both of these little clip Cleo clips I'm doing in here. Both of them combined are shorter than how long it takes me to do this at a higher level because there's just so many Zeds at the higher levels. Not now. Well, you have a lot of mopping up to do just to get in there. But all said and done, when I calculated this out, it cost me about a hundred influence to do this mission, which was fairly cheap. Uh, some firecrackers, I mean, I actually looted the firecrackers and the baby doll. I didn't even buy them out of my locker. So it didn't really cost anything. But here we go again, quick. Denied again. <laughs> and Reese is maxed at on wit, so he can fast search fairly quickly. It's just a matter of getting enough shoulder room, I guess, to get in there and do it get it done and always knowing which side to go to seems like I usually always go to the wrong side but I love it when you go to focus aim Y'all shut the hell up. Okay. Alright. Looks like no zombies. Cleo's down. Time. Took me about four minutes. So I'm picturing this warehouse full of supplies and a woman named Cleo who sits at a radio all day surrounded by her cat. 
Actually, that sounds a lot like my life. Yep. We need to get out of here. We just don't see your cat. I've never seen it around the warehouse. Now, this one took me about four minutes to get the Clio beacon shut off. But as you can see, my cleanup is kind of minimal. I pretty much killed everything trying to get to Clio to shut it off. So on this Reese Clio, all said and done, we're just under six minutes in. And I noticed I got that uh, sweet little gun that I happened to notice Red Monkey get in one of his of course we're off. vehicle. I mean, in one of his episodes. It's a nice little submachine gun. It's the first time I've seen it in any of my Clio drops, so I thought it was pretty awesome. My lower level breakdown people are... This is actually on level one. This was my fourth Clio drop, and the very next Clio drop in this little montage is my fifth Clio drop in level one. So we got some pretty good kit out of Clio, which will help us in, as we progress through in the later stages of breakdown. I just wish I could get me uh, one of them cool uh, battle axe looking things on my lower characters. I have some on my higher level breakdown tunes, just not on my lower level characters. He's just doing a little bit of mop up. And then this is the aggravating uh, trying to get set up for his cheese screenshot. And there you have it. And then um, a message pops up on the screen. So in another second, I'm going to take a screenshot. It's going to be the end of it. And then we're going to go on to an even faster Clio drop with Sean. You're good. Not as good as me, but, you know, good. All right, now this is Sean in the Bubble Mobile. And he is going to do this one unbelievably quick. Cleo shut off, mop up, completely done, and less time than it took Reese to just shut the beacon off. Now, granted... Reese had very little mop-up. Sean has a little more mop-up because he gets the beacon shut off quicker. But once I get up here in the woods, the fun's going to start. I like to always park my vehicle off a little ways because I don't want to accidentally blow my vehicle up and be without a vehicle. It kind of sucked being way out here in the woods. Again, the little cheese firecracker distraction. Try to mop up some bloaters. And the leapfrog gets me. Simple roll and gun would have been pretty sweet. Leapfrog has its uses. And in situations like that, it can be pretty damn aggravating. And look, I almost had this done in under a minute. Frog party again. Scarf me down a cupcake. Get these freaks off my back. Throw another firework. Leap frog. Cleo beacon turned off in less than a minute and a half. That's my quickest one yet. 
and then it'll take me roughly about three minutes to so do you think Cleo mop knows up the we're mess. Here? And she's sending these things to us on purpose? Yes, Lily, she's sending them to or us on purpose. Just landing everywhere? They're not landing everywhere. They're, well, technically they are landing everywhere because I'm watching videos of people doing this everywhere, so I guess you're both right and wrong. We're all in the same instance of decay. Just in our own little worlds. Alright, little junior fat boy, get off my back. And I didn't mean to do that. That's uh, still getting used to the new controls. Or not necessarily the new controls, just for some reason my controls are really sensitive and quirky. And it's kind of hard getting used to them. I was really used to how it was. And well, that's never good when you're shooting a jug in the face and run out of ammo. Focus aim for the win. And I'm about to get into a serious leapfrog party. I'm I wanted to try to avoid making so much more noise because that landmine I set off kind of brought in more zeds and I'm trying to roll the hell out of this but we're playing in the schoolyard leapfrogging. Right, so we're gonna burn the hell out of as many of these as I can. And then we're down to just a few stragglers. A couple of headshot shot streaks away. And we're going to check on our loot. I think I got two stragglers and a screamer in the bushes head spray oh had a few hide behind the tree and now the screamer have you looked at the streets lately you're out of like cupcake Sean what's the situation at home sounds like we have at least one horde inbound our defense is okay it won't be a problem it won't be a problem, Lily. Letting my stamina regen up just a little bit since I have no snacks on me. All right, we count the loot. I, we got us a Clio DMR and the Clio Wrecker. Some suppressors, grenades, some morphine, Sweet, bro. and some snacks. Awesome. Uh, way more value for our reward. Where the hell am I going to carry Because with this? Sean, I spent less than a hundred influence, and it's all gravy. Sweet, bruh. Awesome. Awesome. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you.